How's it going and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach and I'm an HVAC contractor in the Middle Tennessee area. In today's video, we got a service call. We're gonna go out there, see what we can find. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by Blue On, making day-to-day -day life easier for HVAC technicians. Looks like we're missing a screw here. And right there. try that all right so while i've got the blower assembly out of the way this is a perfect time to inspect the heat exchanger because this is an older furnace to make sure we don't have any cracks or anything so i just did that and it looks really good surprisingly so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put this blower assembly back in here and uh let's see if that shake is now gone is it a girl or boy? i can't tell you we haven't told anybody yet. Kevin. No. Nope. I know y'all have a boy, but you have a girl on a boy that you first one, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Maybe you have a girl and you have two and two. That would be cool. Yeah, it would be. It would be cool. <laughs> All right, so in this particular furnace, when you're putting the housing back in, there are multiple um, guides that you've got to make sure you get the blower housing put back in there so it's supported all the way back. So there's one, two, three, four on this particular furnace. What I'm talking about are these right here. So this is the lip of the housing going through those guides all the way back and you just wanna make sure that you catch every single one of them so that way it's supported as much as it can. All right, so it's still rattling and I don't see any reason why it would be. Everything feels very good and solid. I'm thinking it's just the, the blower wheel 
that may have some loose blades or something. And I'm trying to feel around for it. I don't actually feel anything, but I don't know, maybe they actually do feel a little loose as I'm kind of moving it around. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull up uh, Blue On app, and I'm going to get the model number off this furnace, pull up the Blue On app, and it's gonna give me the part number on that blower wheel. So that's one thing I really love about this Blue On app is that you can pull up any model number or most model numbers, and you can get part numbers for whatever you're working on. So you don't have to wait around and call in and be put on hold for the local supply houses just to figure out what they have in stock, what the part numbers are and all that. So you can quickly figure it out what it is that you need and just go directly through the app and actually get a quote for those parts. And what's really cool about that is you can actually share that to your office or whoever approves ordering the parts. And if you're signed up through the app, you're actually gonna get the rewards for that. And so right now, they're actually gonna give you, uh, I believe it's $20 for every $1,000 that you spend through the app. So, you know, day in and day out, if you're ordering parts and whether if it's truck stock or if it's OEM parts that you need for the job, all you have to do is go through the app and get a quote for it and have your office approve it. If you work for someone or if you work for yourself, just approve it yourself. And there you go. You can start racking up those dollars. So um, beyond that, though, it's just there's so much information on there for you. And as a tech or an installer, it's super important it's a tool to have in your tool bag so if you haven't downloaded the blue one app i highly recommend that you do so what i did i went ahead and um i put in a quote for that part usually within about 15 minutes if you hit the asap button usually in about 15 to 30 minutes max you're going to get a reply back and you're going to get a, a quote for that availability and everything so um you know to me I can clean up a little bit. I can organize. I can look at the look at the job a little bit more. Look at the condenser, um, and before you know it, the part's going to be ready for me to uh, approve. And as long as they have one in stock, I'll go pick it up and we'll get this thing changed out. All right. So it's only been seven minutes since I requested a quote for those parts, and I've already got a reply back that it's in stock. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over to Ari Michael and pick up that blower wheel. All right, so that worked out very well. Um, I want to tell you what, this is a new way of uh, being able to order parts, pick up parts, find availability, um, pricing, all of that. You know, typically the old school way of you know, what we've been doing for years is just calling in and we're at the mercy of, um, you know, the people at the desk and how busy they are, if they got people in front of them. So, I don't know, I'm really, really liking this process. I mean, it was a very nice experience on being able to pull up the model number, bam, had all the parts there, the part numbers. Not only that, but they, it gives you the specs of those parts too. So that's fantastic. As a, as a technician out here in the field, it really just makes my job a whole lot easier. Um, but yeah, you know, I was even talking to the guy in there about the process on their end and they seem to really like it too. It's pretty straightforward and simple and it just gets the job done a lot quicker and more efficiently. So that's the way to go. But anyhow, if you're not on the Blue On app, just go ahead and check it out. It's uh, free to download and all you have to do is just do what I've been telling you, right? Get some quotes in there for parts or truck stock. Just being able to order the parts without having to call and get put on hold and I can just go about what I need to do and then I get an alert, you know, 10 minutes later saying, yep, parts are in stock. This is how much it costs. I mean, man, that's really nice.
All right, so that pretty much wraps up this call. At the end of the day, it was just a blower wheel that was out of balance creating that vibration. So once we got that swapped out, everything's looking good. Um, the weather's like super chill right now, so they're not even running any cooling or heating at the moment. It's just fan for um, occupied mode, just circulating some air. So, but anyway, that's gonna complete today's video. I really hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you later.